It's a snow day. So, because it's a snow day, I thought I'd talk about something I touched on already. Um, ice in, in whiskey, and to a larger extent, ice in drinks. So, generally, if you're drinking water to hydrate yourself, the best temperature to drink it at is actually room temperature, because it doesn't have to warm up and your body will absorb it readier. Um, in the past, beer was mostly drank, and, uh, like fairly warm, just look at real ale over in the UK, um, like, and we've always had hot drinks, like tea, coffee, because you'd often boil water to make it potable. So where does ice come into the equation? Um, sometime around, like, like we're talking 17, 1800s, again, I'm not a historian, I just, I like talking about history, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, um, we get like icebox technology, like people carting ice across places. You, you even have stories of people bringing ice all the way down from Canada to warmer places in the US. And ice would have been particularly expensive. The thing about things that are expensive is if, regardless of how good they are, if it's expensive, people will want it. Like in the past, um, if you were a prisoner, one of the things they'd feed you was lobster. Because um, although it's like really tasty, Lobster goes off just like that, like immediately, like, so you're a prisoner, uh, you get fed fucking slop, you get fed like the creepy crawlies they pull from the sea and throw in front of you, and then at some point someone figures out, hey, this thing actually tastes pretty fucking good, let's, let's eat it, and then it becomes a delicacy, even though there are, there are I don't know, well, I don't know what the lobster population is, because I haven't looked into it, but I'm, I'm relatively sure they're not that rare, um, because, like, if you're in... New England, you can get lobster for, I think, relatively cheap. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so back to what I was talking about. So ice in drinks becomes A, uh, like a mark of um, class, what shall we say? Uh, like before this, when people are drinking high-proof spirits, they're probably watering them down. Um, because... Like today, you still have people who add water to whiskey. You still have people who add Coke and ice and like, dilute the fuck out of it. Um, some people want the prestige of drinking something without actually, you know, like savoring it on its own. Let's see, for example, where the Americano comes from versus the espresso. Uh, certain soldiers couldn't tolerate their Italian espresso, so they mixed it with water, and it was called an Americano to mock them. So we probably have people adding ice to a drink to make it classier, to make it cooler, you know? Like, you, ah, uh, yes, I've paid extra for what I'm drinking. I don't care if I can taste it or not, but I can afford this. And then you've also got um, the huge uptick in, like, bootleg spirits. Uh, you'd have, like, rot good. In Ireland, you would have had, like, Parliament whiskey, which was the stuff that came into existence before pot still. Um, Regular people are drinking pochine that they make themselves in their sheds, and it's actually good quality. And uh, this dude uh, owns a distillery and is good friends with people in the government, so he makes Parliament whiskey and fucking sucks. But people can get their hands on ice, so they dump ice into it, so they can't taste it, and they have the prestige of drinking something expensive. It's it's uh, smoke and mirrors, it's all illusions. Um, so why do why 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 would you do it today? Well. The, the way things are done today, certain distilleries will actually cut their spirit in such a way that it's over-sweetened so that it's better over ice. Um, because the thing about ice is it cools things down. Think about ice cream, for example. No one fucking likes like melting ice cream. It's ridiculously sweet because of the amount of sugar in it. Because when it's fucking freezing cold, you won't taste all of that sugar. You need more sugar to cut through that. So there's a lot of modern uh, whiskeys which are over sweetened because they're either meant to be drank over ice or they're meant to be used in cocktails um why else would you do it well you want to make sure you enjoy the thing that you paid a lot of money for so dump ice into it you can still taste it that way and you won't be judged as much i am guilty of this when i was in college uh, i was like 21 i thought i'd be the cool guy who drank whiskey i drank jack daniels on the rocks and it fucking sucked um to this day, I still can't drink it because, like, um, ice and water for me brings out too much grain flavor, and it feels like I'm drinking like gone off beer. Um, essentially, whiskey is a concentrated beer minus the hops, and like, 
I'm particularly sensitive to that, so I can't drink spirits over ice, generally. Um, it's just a thing I can't do. I can drink the main cocktails, um, where there's enough else in there that I can pick out the strongest notes, but on their own, it just kind of tastes like grain to me. It's just not enjoyable. So if you enjoy your spirits on ice, go nuts, but be aware that if you're trying something for the first time, always, always try it on its own. Um, it's the best way to drink anything, really, or at least try anything. You know, you know I've sold uh, an expensive single malt to a group of folks before, and um, when they first sipped it, they were like, oh, that's horrible, that's, that's too abrasive, it's so strong. Then when they put ice and ginger ale in it, they were like, oh, I can really taste it now, the palate, you, you tasting ginger ale. Like, it, you, you're not tasting the, the, but you don't fucking dump it in an expensive malt. Like, don't fucking drink expensive drinks with mixers. Uh, you stupid fucking cunt. But, um, that's pretty much all I have to say today. Uh, it's hard to come up with more things to talk about, um, uh, in regards to this, but I just wanted to do something. I promised I'd, I'd do something, so.